basically in this video we're gonna go over all of our basic stuff for how we're gonna go over how to call me the slash run the slash run first scope um and we're also going to learn how to uh, I want to learn how to do it with a laser collimator, and I'm going to give you tips and pointers and some things that you might just be wondering about uh, the culmination of your Slushron first scope telescope. So, let's get into this episode of LJ's Astronomy. Um, to start off with this telescope, uh, this culmination, what you're going to want to do is remove the dust cap. It's kind of an obvious thing, but for some people it may not. So you remove the dust cap, and there is our primary mirror. Um, so yeah, so there's our primary mirror. So now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna take a laser collimator. A laser collimator. Um, and you just take a laser collimator and take it out of the packaging. Put it off to the side. And grab your laser culminator. You are then you are then going to take off the top dust cap that you have on your telescope. Mine has a hole in it because it, it mine has a hole in it because of the culmination cap. And what you're gonna do is you remove that. Like so. Put it off to the side. And then grab your 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 uh uh, grab your um, this collimator and insert it into the uh, the quarter one quarter uh, inch barrel. Once you have it like that, what you're going to do is going to power it on. And just give me a second to flip you guys around to the right camera angle. So now what you need to do for your next step is you're going to power on your laser collimator. And again, make sure your laser collimator is snugly firm in there. You do not want to have it. Um, you do not want to be loose so it can fall out. So I'm gonna turn up the brightness, show you the right brightness for you guys, so you guys can see. Mine is slightly out of collimation. And I bring the barrel closer. You can look. Let me turn the brightness up. And see that dot on the primary mirror. So first of all, you know, want that dot to be in the center of the primary mirror. This mirror doesn't have a it doesn't have a little collimation dot where you can put that red dot into. But what you're going to do is uh, get to the roughly center. But you're also going to look up here because while you're doing this, this telescope, I found out that when you adjust these, it will actually adjust how the primary mirrors. So what I assume is what you're going to do is you're going to uh, find move uh, use uh, the, these three screws. With your um, with your screwdriver, um, you, with your screwdriver, and you're going to with your screwdriver these these screws with your th with your screwdriver, and make it so that red dot goes into that center hole and disappears. So I'm going to now take the next couple next uh, couple moments to get it into collimation. So that is pretty, so as you can see, in the, as you can see it there, in the red dot, finder sight, the hole has disappeared into the, into the bullseye. And then you're going to look down your mirror, and if you look at down it, it is central, on, it is central, it is central, so if you, if you go like this, it is perfectly center aligned with the middle. That is basically all the technical parts of, um, of uh, 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 culminating your slasher on first go. So now your next step is going to turn off your laser culminator and um, take it out. Be very careful and make sure your laser culminator is always is always off before you remove it or you insert it into the barrel of the telescope. I'll say that once again. It is very important to not put this laser around at people as it can cause uh, eye damage and we uh, we ask you guys to follow the. I hope that you guys will build up a. Oh, 
Um, I'm so sorry about that. I just want you guys to make sure you be safe with us and to follow the instructions that your laser collimator has come with. So there will be instructions in these. We uh, um there will be instructions and um we uh, please follow them and please follow the safety instructions of your laser collimator. That is a very important thing. And so yeah. So anyways, I turned the light. I got this thing on double zero. The brightness is off. And what I want to do is safely remove it. Never pointing at my eyes, even though it is off. You never know. It might be still on. Um. And you're going to put it in, you're going to put it into your thing, and put it in your box, and put that. You're then what you're going to do is you're going to, um, is if you're wanting to go observe, you can take your eyepiece, uh, insert it into your, into the barrel, and Go view whatever there is to view. Not much to view inside the in this house, inside of my room. So yeah. So what I'll do is I'll put the cover back on and take this eyepiece out. So now, now you have your Celestron first scope properly and safely all made. And you can put the covers back up, or say if you're about to go observe, go have fun and observe. That is basically all the technical knowledge for calling your Celestron first scope. Now, important information. Okay, some th important things to note is your Celestron for scope callmation will naturally follow as time goes. With this one having a built-in primary mirror, um, um, so you can't physically adjust the primary mirror itself, it will, what is it called, um... It will just naturally follow over. It will just naturally loosen over time, and you can only really adjust the the front one, but that kind of adjusts the back one as well. So it kind of adjusts both. But um, I think I just put up a kind kind of counter. I just said that like a million times. But anyways, so, so approximately, if I just sum that up, uh, if you're if you use it a lot, uh, one every time every time you take it out, contemplate it. If you only use it a couple, if you use it rarely, or you take really good care of it. Um, use it, call me every second or third time you take it out. That are just rough instructions. Even if you take it carefully, you could still call me it for better views. There's nothing wrong. Yeah, that basically does it for that. I'm sorry for speaking very quick, uh, but I wanted this video to not be too long. So, um, oh, if you're watching this to collimate your telescope right now, that you'd be able to easily follow along and not have to waste uh, watch a 30 minute YouTube video on how to collimate a, a, a slush round first scope telescope. Um. The reason why I'm making this video is because I couldn't find any videos like this, and I really wanted uh, to help people out, especially beginners, because this is a very beginner-friendly telescope. So, with all that, I would like to thank you guys for watching another episode of LJ's Astronomy, or uh, or Astro LJ's, and um, I'm going to wish you guys clear skies, and I hope... I uh, hope, uh, hope you like uh, this video, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Clear skies. Linda.